your chin right there. It's the beginning of Shed Tour 2021, April. Heading out to pick up Dan Gaffney, and we're gonna go try to find some elk sheds today. I'll be out for the next four days straight, uh, putting on some miles in the mountains, so really hoping to get into some sheds, <clears throat> come home with a couple heavy pack loads, and uh, I'm gonna meet him up at the gas station up north of town here, and we're gonna form a plan and head out. Hopefully have a good day of finding some sheds, so. This is the beginning. We cannot seem to get out of the snow. We keep running into big drifts. I can't get anywhere that we want to. So we're trying to find a new spot that we can actually get to. We're gonna try to get lower and see what we can find. Water. Just got to our spot. Try to go find some sheds and there's two other cars, a Washington plate and a, is that what it was? Washington and Colorado? Try to go opposite direction of wherever they went. Came up on a balloon. <sighs> a little heart shaped balloon. You wouldn't believe how many balloons I find out in the forest. Go ahead and put this one in my pack, add it to the collection. There you go. Found a little deer shed, not even a shed, it just broke off, so I guess I'll take it. Hopefully we can find some elk though. Good find. Is it a white? Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. That's a good one. Sweet, dude. Good stuff. Well, I got some really sad news. The only thing of value that I have found on this trip so far, my balloon for my balloon collection blew away and I chased it up the mountain and I can't find it. We're calling that one a loss. No more balloon. Kind of bummed. Well, Dan's killing it today. Got the shed and now a little deadhead. Little little guy, huh? At least this one don't stink like that other one yesterday. Yeah. Ivories. You like ivories. Heck yeah.
Not a bad morning. No. Coming away empty handed. All right, spot number two. Number one most discouraging thing while shed hunting, boot tracks. Oh, there's some elk tracks too. Got elk tracks and boot tracks. So I'll try to lose the, lose the boot tracks. They're in here, all over the place. We gotta figure out where they drop their antlers. On the board with an elk shed. Let's go. Let's go. Bone is bone, buddy. Bone is bone. Bone is bone. You wanna oh. head up head up there to that uh up there? Top of that hill where all those tracks are in the snow? Yeah. Dan's killing it today. Picked up another little six. I'm on the board now, finally, with a good shed. Got a nice brownie. Let me see if I can zoom into this for you. Let's go pick it up. Look at that, Daisy. Oh, man. What is that, Daisy? What is it? Oh, that's a good shed right there. All right, many miles in, this is worth it right here. Oh, beautiful six. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> antler. Trip. That's a toad, man. Is a success right there. Woo. So we're yes, sitting there putting my, my shed on my pack and Dan looks over and there's another one right here and it's not even the match. <laughs> and he's all gnarly. Busted on the base up. there, busted up, and he's got a crazy pedicle. Look at that thing. Busted second, busted royal, busted fifth. <laughs> Holy smokes, man! Things just turned around real quick. <laughs> In a matter of what, ten feet? No, yeah. Like oh yeah. Fifty feet. Right. Gosh, that's crazy. It's turning into a good day. That'll give you some energy to keep hiking. <laughs> That's a wrap for today. Going home with a couple nice sheds, and um, I was planning on going to meet my buddy Jeremiah tomorrow and sleeping in the back of my truck tonight, but poor Daisy's paws aren't doing so hot. Uh, I think she cut them. She's not feeling real good, so I'm gonna take her home tonight and then uh, go back out tomorrow. Daisy, are you tired? Daisy, do your paws hurt? I'm gonna take you home, huh? So you can sleep good. Nights with Alice Cooper. Live and kicking, okay. Lucky rock bands and sort of mutants. How about one of the greatest live bands, both then? All right, beginning of day number two. We got a good night's sleep in my own bed. And now I got about a three hour drive to get where I'm trying to go. So hopefully today's just as good. Met up with Jeremiah, we're at our destination. And we've got three cow elk spotted so far. So we're hoping there's some bulls in here too. It's a little bit windy. We'll get hiking here. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Well, we're on this real steep south facing slope and uh, I hear Jeremiah yelling my name, but this feels like a really good spot. So let's see what he's got. What you got there? A little three point. Three point deer shed. Very nice. Very nice. On the board. First one of many. We're not skunk. This feels like a really good hillside. All right, so I just ran back up, up from the hill uh, from Jeremiah when he found that deer shed. Like I was saying, this hill, hill feels really good and uh, I look, look up probably, I don't know, five minutes later. And we got my first elk shed of the day. 
there she is. A little hard white. Good stuff. First little hard white of the day. It's got a cool little kicker coming off right there off the brow time. It's technically a seven point. He's got that little crab at the end too. It's pretty sweet. As I look up, it's probably 30 seconds after I just picked up that other one. I'll show you what I saw. There we go. Another hard white. That might be the other side to the one I just found. <laughs> There we go. I think that's the other side. The other one I picked up to the left. This one's a right, so I think I got a set. Oh yeah. Definitely would call that a set. Good day. Hiking along, found an ant hill. Look at that, look how many ants there are. I heard him. On the board again, I'm on this real steep rock slide and I looked up and I've got an antler buried under a tree over here. And it looks like it's probably chalky. We'll see, but. My guess is that it's been there for a long time. See a little tip sticking out under the bush there. Oh yeah, that's super old. <laughs> that thing's been there for years. <sighs> yeah, that's an old one. Little tiny five. Back to the truck. A couple elk sheds and a deer shed, and that was it. We'll try again tomorrow. You got any words? Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's another day. See you in the morning. All right, woke up and we got snow everywhere out there. So had to change the game plan where we wanted to go is covering snow. We're gonna find a new spot and uh, hopefully hopefully find some sheds. Okay, made it to our destination. We've seen how many, it's probably what, 10? 10, 10, 10 bucks that have been shed, 10 mule deer bucks. Let's see if we can find the deer sheds and then maybe find some elk as well. Hopefully the next time I turn on the camera, I'll be showing you some sheds. We've been hiking around in some really steep stuff like this that you can see down this ravine. No luck at all. No animal sign, no nothing. I don't know how many miles in with not, not a single sign of life, so. All right, well, the last hike was not very productive at all. So we're driving just a, a mile or so away where we saw a bunch of deer. We stopped the truck and five seconds into glassing, Jeremiah spots a road shed. It's right out there. We're gonna go get it. Oh yeah. Good job, dude. A little hard white. Very nice. I'm not skunked. There's got to be more around here then, huh? I'll just run up these draws. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do it. 
We're walking around looking for more deer sheds and Jeremiah's like 300 yards away from me and I see his hands up in the air and I glassed. He's got another shed. It looks like maybe he has the match, so that's pretty sweet. Now Jeremiah has two and I don't have any, so I gotta find one so I don't go home skunked. I just glassed over to Jeremiah and that punk has three sheds now. So I'm gonna go walk over to him. So at least we know there's one that we need to match up. They were two feet away from each other. I thought you just matched up your other one. This was the first one. Dude, that's sweet. So we gotta match up your first one still. Let's see him. It's a nice little set. Four by three, huh? It's a five. It's oh, a five. Five. Five by four. Five, five by four. You wanna <laughs> count that little guy there? Sweet. That's cool. And then your other one. Three You're point. whooping me, dude. I can't find anything. I think I think we should go around. Okay. And do the lower part. Of, like, don't go up. Well, we can, but yeah, I started to figure. I that thought out. you were. I thought you were gonna continue going. So. All right. I think I just glassed up two. First one's close, and the other one's pretty far. We'll go check them out. This one's right down here. This one looks pretty chalky. One right here. Yeah, it's real chalky. And then there's another one on the hillside up there. All right, now I'll go pick up the, the other one that I glassed up. See if that one's any good. All right, I'm getting close. This one's for sure shed. And uh, Jeremiah says he's got one over there. So another shed on this little pocket right here. So maybe we'll spend a little more time looping around in here and seeing if we can find any more. All right. Looks like a pretty decent big old fork. Hard white. That's kind of cool. Pretty sweet. Keep looping around. I think Jeremiah's got two over there now. So we'll keep looking. Jeremiah just guided me to this one. That's the match to mine. Good job. Got getting full here, but I've got another one up here that Jeremiah spotted. I'm gonna go pick it up for him. I think that's a match to my other one. Looks like a match to me. The other one that Jeremiah thought was a shed was a perfect looking stick. So I got the other two that he glassed up, which happened to be the matches to my two. <laughs> uh, it's good to have friends like Jeremiah to match up your sheds. So we'll keep circling around, see if we can find any more. Okay, this is getting crazy. I had the camera off for 30 seconds. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, turn the corner and there's another little four point. So I'll go pick him up. Hard white four point. <laughs> I'll look around and see if I can find the match to him. All right, we're stashing our pile because we didn't bring our backpacks. We think it might be the same group uh, that we saw earlier today. So we're gonna go and try to find where they shed their browns because that was a little honey hole pocket. So. If they did the same thing this year in an area, uh, we could find a bunch of browns. So we're gonna go try to find that and then pick up these sheds later. And Jeremiah's the man, matched up both of my sets. So I found a little hard white, that last one I found and gave it to him. Now if I find a chalk, I'll give it to him too. Pays off to have friends like him. Couple deer out there. Day. All right, we're done uh, with day number three of the shed hunt. We got nine deer sheds total, uh, which is pretty good considering that we were about to call it quits and go home. 
after the first half of the day because we were hiking some steep country and uh, it was not very fun. So we we're like, ah, should we go home? We stopped and Jeremiah glassed up that road shed and that sparked some interest in the area and uh, ended up finding nine. Now we'll, we'll go home, get some rest, get some dinner and uh, one more day tomorrow. Yeah, we found so, all those in three hours. Yeah, that's true. They were all, most of them were on one hill. Yeah. The first couple were in the same spot and then the rest were on one hill. So talk about hitting a bone zone or uh, a little pocket. That's what we did today. So. Anyways, we'll see you in the morning. All right, we're off. Day number four for me. Day number three with Jeremiah. And we're trying a brand new spot. Brand new spot for me. Jeremiah's been there and picked up a couple of elk sheds before, so. Last day of my four day shed trip and uh, got a good amount of antlers so far to add to the stash, but I'm hoping to get some more even. So, stay tuned. All right, it's windy and it's cold. Finally got to our spot, pretty snowy. But today we got Jeremiah and Matt. Our goal is to not get skunked. Sitting down, taking a little break. I have not seen any elk sign in here. I don't think this is a place where elk like to hang out or winter. We'll keep hiking a little further and then meet up with the guys and reevaluate and see what we want to do. But I'm not real optimistic about sheds on this, this trip. Any luck? Jeremiah's on the board getting a little chalky long day Not a bad little shed very nice. Good job, sir. All right, looked over at Matt. It looks like he's got a shed in his pack, so go check it out. Looks like a little deer shed. What you got? Down the bone. Almost a three point, not quite. Almost a little three point, a little. That's hard white, huh? Or is that a brown? Um, it might be a brown. It's there's a little brown on the bottom. Very nice. All right, that does it for the four day shed trip today. Finished it off with Jeremiah and Matt. They both got two, uh, two little deer sheds. Matt's was a little brown, Jeremiah's was a little chalky, and I got skunked. I didn't find anything today, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens, and uh, I'm happy with what I've, I'm bringing home this trip, so. Made the pile a little bit bigger. It was a good trip. We'll see you guys later.